Hi guys, Darren from Kingfisher Computers here. It is Tuesday the 7th of February 2012 at 2 o'clock. I'm about to do uh, another live stream, or I'm currently doing a, another live stream. And in this live stream, what I'm going to demonstrate is um, upgrading OS X from El Capitan 10.11 um, to um, Mac OS Sierra 10.12. So if I remove this, um, obviously on the MacBook we have here, um, here's the system information. Um, this machine's currently got 4 gig of RAM. I do advise um, potentially 8 gig of RAM for a, a system like this. This only has an Intel Core 2 Duo, 2.66 gigahertz. In the ideal scenario, I would um, advise a customer to upgrade this machine to um, a solid state drive, especially the 2010, 2011, and 2012 MacBooks. Okay, so before um, we start the install, what I'm going to do is open Disk Utility. Um, if you click Finder in the corner and type Disk, um, obviously it's found Disk Utility, and we'll just click Enter. Um, simple reason, I'm going to um, repair any disk faults or any um, permission faults within the hard drive before I start the install, just to ensure it runs a bit smoother. So I've clicked on the, the top end drive and clicked First Aid, and now I'm going to click on the Macintosh partition and run First Aid again. And um, this client came to us for simple reason. Um, they're getting peculiar problems with OSX and a quick diagnostic of the problem. I um, reckon the issue is to do with um, operating system inconsistencies. So um, I can, <laughs> I'm assuming that uh, an upgrade to OSX Sierra will rectify these issues my customer has. As obviously, as you can see, the beach ball. And obviously the time at which this is taken to do repair on the disk, it suggests to me that there is issues with the hard drive. Um, although I did suggest this to the customer, but they the weren't really interested in, in replacing the drive and asked me to do the best I could to um, repair it without replacing the disk. So, there we go. So now what we do, close disk utility. Click on the Apple logo and we're going to go to the App Store. From within the App Store, I'm going to sign out of this client's um, App Store account. I'm going to sign in with the Kingfisher Computers account. A simple reason, I don't know the customer's login details. Now that they've signed in, I'm gonna, uh, in the quick links bar down the side, we have Mac OS Sierra. Sometimes it occurs in this top bar. So I'm gonna click on that. 
and it's already previously downloaded. The customer must have done it, or OS X must have downloaded it automatically. So we're going to click install. And here we are giving us attention in the bottom right hand corner. Install Mac OS Sierra. Okay, so here's the Sierra login screen. Um, I'm, I'm going to click continue. Uh, the license agreement so we're going to click agree and then obviously um, a confirmation of the agreement of the license agreement so we're going to click yes now it's given us the option for the partition to install on which is currently macintosh hg so then install and then what it's going to do it's asking for um the pass our customer's password so they've written it down for me And there we go. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to leave this installation running. Uh, I'm going to hide the camera for a little bit, um, and then I'll pop back up as soon as we're any further forward. So I'll see you soon.
and we have the restart of the machine so again it's all automated from this point on so there's no need for any interaction with me until the end so see you in a bit <laughs> 